All right, announcing a Windows Arduino simulator written in C++ using free CPP dev compiler. It's all going open source on GitHub. Why are we doing this? Well, um, there's a lot of the simulators that exist uh, are not free. One popular one uh, used to be free, Visual Breadboard. It's also it's a Java app, and a C++ app is closer to the Arduino co code. It's actually run. The uh, so having it free and open source, I think, is an advantage as well as being able to collaborate with people and uh, working together. Then also the ability to set breakpoints and step through your own sketch. I think you'll uh, appreciate. All right, where is this located at? The GitHub repository is located up here. Actually, I have my name spelled wrong, but you can still find it. Uh, you'll see a images directory it has a bunch of BMP files. And then libraries, which contains mocked and uh, real libraries. The GCC compiler, which is free, is located here. You want to download this one from SourceForge. MingW, that has the IDE in it. All right, let's take a look at the application to download from GitHub. Some classes are mocked. For example, serial class is mocked, and I read it from a, a text window. So it looks like the serial monitor. I call it the keyboard monitor. EEPROM class is mocked. It's just uh, we just made an array of 0 to 1023. Wire is a mock. I haven't actually hooked that one up. Other classes are the same that are used in the Arduino. For example, I'm testing out an Arduino basic class, which is for the basic language I made for Arduino. And uh, also I have a seven segment class, which is a real, not a mock. It's actually an update from the seven segment that's found on the Arduino site. That one seemed to have some issues. The code, your sketch code, specified right here on this line, line 70. This, this version. The you, you specify the name of the file, and then to get to the directory, you go to Project Options, set the include files. For me, my Arduino is 101. This has had the sketch file in this directory. GitHub when you download it. This is the directory of the GitHub location that the download to, and then I want to add this library so that it can see all the mock libraries. And this was a real library that I also needed to build to. So if you need any of those, then you add those here. Okay. Once after you specified your your sketch. Then you want to actually connect the components, and currently there is an Arduino component, an LED component, a momentary depress switch, a seven segment display. And here's an example of connecting up those components. This is uh, this is the seven segment display, so I have seven. Um, <clears throat> Just digital outputs. 
Now you're probably wondering how I call loop here. And the way we did it was we call the set timer that creates a five second or five millisecond message that is handled in this procedure. And out of that, when that message is called, and then the first time I call setup out of that sketch, and then subsequently I call loop. So best case it'll run every five milliseconds. It doesn't run quite that fast, I don't think. Alright, so let's give it a run. So um in my sketch I am updating the seven segment display cycling uh, zero through nine and here you can see seven I'm using seven through thirteen for this seven segment display and you can see the values that are getting set. Also have this momentary depress just to show you the functionality connected to an LED. Now I'm also using this to test out my Arduino basic language and when I run this it's going to start flashing these two LEDs. The Arduino basic is located in EEPROM. I'll just go ahead and stop that. So here's this is this keyboard monitor which looks like the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE. Okay. Now to set a breakpoint, you simply right click on your line to run the cursor. And this was in the setup of my sketch, so you can see we got there and by pressing shift function seven you can step through it. And so we got out of setup. I was gonna go into loop. And you can step through your code, very useful for looking at you can add watch points and uh, very helpful as far as debugging. Give you visibility to those little things that you can normally see using the Arduino. The, with your help, we can make this very uh, useful project by adding more components. For example, shift registers, different ICs. I'm thinking next to do a 4x16 character display. Maybe a 5110 Nokia display would be nice. It's fairly straightforward to add a component. You gotta get a BMP to define the the basic um, the basic look of it. Then you add the BMP to the images directory. And into the in the resource file, then it, it will draw. Then you have to also define a paint function, and, and also all your pins for the device. In the paint, you'll look at the pins and decide how either to change the look of the component or or leave it alone. Also, you can determine output values for the component. If you'd like to contact me, here's my email. I'm also on Fiverr. Thanks for watching.